Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Robot Odyssey. Um, I realized after making my previous video that uh, actually for the first level of Robotropolis, you don't even need to do any soldering. So I could do the first level of Robotropolis, that's the uh, the sewers. I could do that using the DOS version of this game, and it would, wouldn't be a problem because I don't need to do any soldering, so I wouldn't need to use the soldering iron. But um, then after that, I would need to switch to the Apple II version anyway. Um, and I, I guess I could just play through the first level in DOS and then replay it on the Apple version, but now I'll, I'll play the whole game in the Apple II version so you can get used to it. Uh, so this is the screen from the Apple II version of the game, uh, and I'm going to, actually let me reboot the simulator just so you can see the title screen of the game. See that? These these are the authentic colors of the Apple II. Yeah, when you see that kind of color scheme, you know it's got to be an Apple II game. Okay, so this is the main menu of, of the game, and as you can see, we have the usual training down here. This game also incorporates a preview of Robotropolis, which the first game, did, uh, the DOS version, didn't have. But we're just going to go right into Robotropolis. Now, when you start the game in Robotropolis, uh, it shows you a little cutscene to introduce the game. You might want to turn down your sound just for a little bit, because it's, it's kind of loud. So here we go. Uh, yeah. the introduction to the game. The guy uh, has a dream about a robot and wakes up in bed, falls out of bed, and lands here in Robotropolis. I'm going to turn off the remote control because we don't need it right now. There we go. Um, yeah, I have problems balancing out my sound in my Let's Plays. Uh, no matter how much I turn up my microphone volume, the microphone is still kind of quiet, and yet the sound that gets recorded from the, you know, from the, the speakers, from the actual games, is typically really loud, so... Sorry about that. Anyway, welcome, traveler. You have fallen into the underground city of Robotropolis. To escape, travel upward through all five levels of the city. The three robots in the next room will help you on your journey. To learn how they work, choose Robot Anatomy from the menu. This way to Robotropolis. To return to the menu, press Escape. Okay. Well, we've already done the Robot Anatomy tutorial. It's the same for both versions of the game, basically. And you can see what I mean by the, the horribly ugly text. See how this text has this crazy sort of blue and orangey brown and white kind of color scheme. These are the colors of the Apple II, and this is why I didn't want to use the Apple II version of the game, because it's a lot less readable. But anyway, uh, so here we are, and actually one thing I should mention, you can press a question mark. It seems like pressing a question mark in each level will give you some hints. So there I go, press question mark. Escape from the city sewer. Hints. Observe how the robots move. Each is pre-wired to help you. Robots go where humans dare not tread. The key to success lies within. Black crystals foil empire bots. And finally, chip 1 is count to N, while chip 2 is wall hugger. To continue, press return. So, yeah, a couple of things right off the top. The key to success lies within. That's, uh, well, I'll show you what that means in a second. I'm going to start off by dealing with the empire bot. What is an empire bot, you ask? I will show you. Um... First of all, yeah, so we start off with these three robots here. You want all three of them. You want to bring all three of these robots with you through the level, because otherwise you won't be able to finish the game, which would suck. So let's see, one of these robots has... All these robots have stuff inside them, and they're pre-wired. And I could fiddle with the wiring. I could change around these wires, uh, but there's no need to for this first level. They're pre-wired in such a way that you can do the first level without needing to do any robot wiring. So this one's got uh, all kinds of crazy wiring inside it. I'm looking for, it must be in the, th yeah, here we go. In this robot, there is this blue key. That's what they mean by the, the key to success lies within. We have the key out of the robot, come back out, and the key is needed here in this room. You want to put it into this keyhole to open up that door. There you go. And you want to take the key with you as well, because you'll need it in later levels. So, um, right now I'm just going to show you just what the heck the Empire bot is. Uh, it's a pun on vampire, and I guess also ampere, which is the unit of electrical current. But let me show you what the Empire bot is. First of all, take a look at this robot. We're inside uh, one of these robots, and see this uh, power gauge down here is full. That's nice. Th these robots come all fully charged to start the level off. I'm going to take this robot with me and just kind of go exploring through the, the city sewer. And 
and see what we can see. Let's see if I go, oops, if I go uh, this way. I just want to show you exactly what the Empire bot does so that we'll know why it's important. Yeah, I think from here I go down and then, yeah, okay, here we go. And then once you get to these wider and darker colored sewer tunnels, you run the risk of running into the Empire bot. There you go, see? The Empire bot, Empire bot grabs, it, it basically jumps on you if you're carrying a robot. And now if you go back inside, see, oops, see the robot's energy level went down. And if you keep doing it, I mean, if you, you can run into the Empire bot unlimited times. So if you, you run into this jerk again, he's going to do the same thing again. He's going to, actually, maybe he's satisfied for now. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, he jumped on us. <laughs> again and the robot's energy level went down even more and if you jumped on us a third time this robot would be completely discharged so it's kind of an annoyance i mean you can still use the robots because they're not completely dead it takes basically three hits from that empire bot to um to completely drain the robot but it's just really annoying and you know that, that's the last thing you need because there are lots of other puzzles to deal with in this game you don't want to have to worry about the stupid empire bot which is a obviously a pun on vampire so let me show you how to get rid of the empire bot i'm just going to exit. Let me see. I'm going to press escape. Uh, yeah, to go to the menu, press escape. I'm going to restart the game. Uh, actually, that means I'm going to have to uh, go through that stupid intro again, so you might want to turn down your speakers again. Here we go. Actually, I just pressed escape to skip that. That's what I should have done. I should have just, right from the start, I didn't realize I could skip that. Yeah, I should have just pressed escape from the get-go, and that would have saved us some, some annoyance. Duh. Okay, um, so here we go. You might recall the hint uh, from here that said, uh, Black Crystals Foil Empire Bots. What is a black crystal? It's kind of like the energy recharge crystals that we saw in the tutorial, but with one difference. They're black, so you can't see them, because they blend in with the bl black background that's... Uh, that forms the rest of the game. What we need to do is f find one of these robots, I believe it's this one, yeah, see this robot is wired with this sensor. This sensor will detect black crystals. What is the use of that, you might ask? Well, we can take this robot, carry it with us, and, uh, oh, I need to, uh, blah, 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 blah. I need to get the blue key so I can get through that, uh, Oh, it's not in this one. Oh, I guess it's random. Interesting. I guess they randomly pick which robot the blue key goes into, because I think it was in that robot the last time. But Okay, so we got the blue key from that robot this time. And I'm going to baby step very carefully so that I can open the door. There we go. I'm just going to leave the blue key here for now. I'll come back for it later. So this 